finding a slope. The slope of a line represents the direction of a line on the coordinate plane. This is a coordinate plane here, you can see that. A coordinate plane contains two perpendicular line numbers. So this one, the horizontal one, is called x, and the vertical one is called y. So x and y, x is the horizontal line, and y is the vertical line. The horizontal line here, when you move from left to right, you get a bigger number. So the point here, the point, the intersection of these two lines is called the origin. So origin is the intersection of these two axes. An ordered pair of x and y, like this x and y, shows the location of each point. So for example, for origin, the location of origin is 0, 0. So for horizontal line, if you move to the right, it's positive number. To the left is negative number. For y, if you go up, you get positive number. If you go down, you get negative numbers. So for example, you have a point here. And you want to find the order pair or the address of this point. So to find this address, just find the horizontal distance of this point to the origin. is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 is the value of x, and 1 up is 1 is the value of y. If you have this point, for example, so the address of this one is, you move 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the left, so it's negative 4 for x, and 1 unit down, negative 1 for y. So these two, these two numbers shows the address of the point. Now, if you want to find the slope of a line, you just need to have the equation of a line or you need to have two points of the line, these two points. If you have these two points, let's just find the value, the address or the order pairs of these two points. This point, let's call it A, and this point, let's call it B. So A and B. A, the address of A, I'll just write it here, is two units to the right. So x is 2, and it doesn't go up or down, so the y is 0. For b, it is just, uh, it doesn't go right or left, it's just on y-axis, so the value of x is 0, and the value of y is 1, 2, 3, 4 units down, so it is negative 4. So we have these two points. Now, if you have two points, you can find the slope of the point using this formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or, you could say rise over run. So, rise over run. Rise over run, run is a simple idea. Just we want to see how many units we go up when you move to the right. So run is to toward the right, so it is one, two units. So here, we can use this run is two, because it just goes two units to the right, and then one, two, three, four units up. So it is four over two, which is two. You can also use this method, this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now let's say this point is, this one here is x, 1 and that one is y1 this is x2 y2 you could name the this one x1 doesn't matter so let's just choose this now for this one y2 what is y2 y2 here is negative 4 over what is x y1 y1 here is just 0 so negative 4 minus 0 over x2 x2 is 0 here minus what is x1 x1 is here and this is 2 so negative 4 minus 0 is just negative 4 over 0 minus 2 is just negative 2 it is 2 negative 4 divided by negative 2 is just 2 so the slope of this line is 2 to find the slope of a line 
we need to have the equation of a line or two points of the line. So the equation of a line in a slope intercept form is just like this. It's y equals to ax plus b. a is the slope of a line. So whenever you have an equation like this, Finding the slope is very easy. This is the slope. Ax. So anything, anything that multiplied by x is the slope. And b is the y-intercept. Is this point. The value of y at this point. That intersects these two lines. The line and y-axis. So here is negative 4, right? We found it before. 1, 2, 3, 4. So b is negative 4. And here we can write plus negative 4. A, the slope we found it before, is 2. So it's 2x and y. If you simplify this part, you get y equals to 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 is the equation of this line. If you were given this one, so if you had the equation of y equals to 2x minus 4, then the slope is easy. 2 is the slope. Now let's take a look at some examples here. We want to find the slope of these lines. So let's take a look at the first one. What is the slope of the first one? The slope of this one is a number we don't write 1 times x. It's just 1x. So the slope is just 1. So the slope is 1 for this one. The slope here is negative 3. The slope here is negative 5 over 2. Okay, this one the equation of the line is in the standard form. The standard form of the equation is just like this. It is ax plus by equals to c. So if you see something like this, that is the equation of a line in the standard form. You need to turn it into this form, the slope intercept form, y equals to something. So you need to isolate the y. So to isolate the y here, you just need to, just this is the equation, right? So we have two sides. Add x both sides, plus x. Then you have 3y equals to, if you write it in a standard form, 7 plus x is the same thing as x plus 7. So write x plus 7. Then we need to divide both sides by 3 to get y. So if you divide by 3, then you get y equals to, x over 3, or you could say 1 third of x, plus 7 over 3. What is the slope here? The slope is 1x over 3, so 1 third is the slope. The slope here, m, is 1 third. Let's take a look at the next one here. So we have 3x plus 3y equals to 9. So first, since all of these numbers are divisible by 3, you can divide everything by 3. By 3. So if you divide everything by 3, you get x plus y equals to 3. Because 3x divided by 3 is x. 3y divided by 3 is y equals to 3. Now isolate y by subtracting x from both sides. If you subtract x from both sides, you get y equals to negative x and that was 3, right? Plus 3. So the slope of this line is negative 1. This negative. Negative 1 is the answer. Here, add 3x both sides. Plus 3x. So the result is 6y equals to 3x. Because negative 3x and positive 3x, these two cancel out. So 3x plus 12. Now divide everything by 6. You get y equals to 3 divided by 6 is just 1 half, or 3 over 6. Just 1 half x plus 12 divided by 6 is 2. So the slope here is 1 half. Now you have two points. If you have two points, just use this formula. m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's just solve it here. So let's say this one is x1 and this one is y1 x2 is 2, and y2 is 5. So y2 is 5, right? It's 5 minus, what is y1? It's negative 2. So minus negative 2 over x2 is 2. 
minus x1 is 1, so 2 minus 1 equals to 5 minus negative 2, so negative 2 negative is positive, so it is 5 plus 2, which is 7. And 2 minus 1 is just 1, 7 over 1 is just 7. So the answer is 7. The slope of this line, the line that passes through these two points, is 7.